Our team coverage begins live in Halifax with CTV's Elise Hand. Elise. Well, Steve, the worst of the storm has come and gone, I'm happy to report, but it hasn't gone without leaving its mark. What was the frame of a home is now a pile of rubble. The culprit, high winds. The structure came crashing down this afternoon, crushing this car and damaging the home next door. Sound like thunder. Just one of the wind's casualties today. Another, scaffolding ripped from a building, crashing into a metro transit bus. And this car pierced by a piece of metal at Point Pleasant Park. Luckily, no one was injured. And Steve, as you can see, it is a very busy night here on the Halifax waterfront. The bicycle thief in behind me here and a lot of people dining tonight. What we can tell you at this point, there are now 53 reports of what appears to be norovirus in Halifax. What should put people's mind at ease is that all those people who reported getting sick got sick between August 14th and August 18th. So no new cases of what appears to be norovirus uh, has been reported since August 18th. Steve? All right. Thank you, Elise. You're welcome. That's CTV's Elise Hand with a lot of other people on the Halifax waterfront tonight. People who live in these homes just outside downtown Truro have nowhere to go. And this isn't even the worst of it. This is low tide. High tide won't happen here until about 7 o'clock tonight. We do have a chance of flurries tonight for western Nova Scotia. Winds will be gusty again tonight, gusting to about uh, 50 kilometers per hour for most of us. A little lighter for northern New Brunswick, but uh, PEI into Nova Scotia, expect those gusty winds to stick around. Into tomorrow, too, we're dealing with wind that just wants to stay put. So for New Brunswick, winds gusting to about 50 kilometers per hour for the southern half of the province. We're seeing mainly cloudy skies, a mix by this afternoon. A chance we'll see some freezing drizzle again today in St. John's and Gander. And some flurry activity quite possible this afternoon in St. John's as well. Stephenville, St. Anthony, mix of sun and cloud, temperatures above zero. And then for Goose Bay, Labrador City and Nain, temperatures hovering around the zero mark, mostly cloudy. A chance we will see some flurries again this afternoon. But winds will gust throughout the day, again out of the northeast today, gusting to 100 kilometers per hour. There's still that wind warning in effect for Shelburne County. You've really been dealing with a lot of wind yesterday overnight and into today. So by this evening, that wind will diminish, but uh, the rest of the day looking very windy for Shelburne County. Live from our Maritime News app. This is CTV News. Here is Elise Hand. Good evening. Family and friends of a 20-year-old lobster fisherman from the Yarmouth area are preparing for the worst tonight. Michael Jeffrey Doucette is presumed to have drowned after he fell overboard on Saturday night. After searching for 15 hours, the Joint Rescue Coordination Center called off the search at around 9 o'clock Sunday morning. A cormorant helicopter and two Canadian Coast Guard vessels helped in the 14-hour search. Doucette, who is from Wedgeport, Nova Scotia, was part of a three-man crew on board the Roro. Doucette's girlfriend spoke with CTV News it's earlier amazing. today. Like, Mike was loved by everyone. He was, he was a great guy and he would never do anything wrong to anyone. Doucette wasn't wearing survival gear. The crew had been out on the water since Friday night. They were on their way home when Doucette went missing. In other news, new allegations of sexual abuse are emerging tonight against former St. John councillor Donnie Snook. Since arresting Snook last week, police in St. John say they've been contacted by several people who allege they were sexually abused by the 40-year-old. Snook is charged with possessing and making child pornography as well as sexual interference with a child under 16. Police are investigating the latest allegations. A bail hearing is set for Snook on Monday. A man has been arrested after he attacked another man with a hammer. The incident happened on Monday morning in Nine Mile River, Nova Scotia. Police were called to a home on Renfrew Road after a 50-year-old man was hit over the head with a hammer. A female who attempted to intervene was also injured. Both victims were not seriously hurt. 44-year-old Paul Roderick Fowler faces a number of charges, including attempted murder. Police say this was not a random act. Fowler is scheduled to appear in Truro Provincial Court tomorrow.